The evil is contained. Ed and Lorraine do believe diabolical forces are formidable, that they exist, that they are eternal, and they are at play. It's the doll, Ed. It's a beacon for other spirits. What was fascinating about this from the beginning, and I remember James Wan selling it to us, was as dark as you get with these stories, there was gonna be a real freedom in wanting to show the light and the love. And that's something we took and ran with. Their relationship and their faith in God gives them the ability to triumph. They did everything together. Their faith in their religion is what kept them safe and kept them going. The Warrens sort of bookend our movie, and in this it's really about Judy sort of taking up the mantle of her parents and trying to figure out how to save the day. To be part of that story, my parents' life becoming such a huge franchise, it's a wonderful honor to have that. It's been really fun for us to bring out their humor and the love, and we need that. That's what starts to set this apart. And that's what's so appealing. Hey, it's Lisa here with more on horror. The Exorcist was the first horror film to be nominated for a Best Picture Oscar. Now, the horror genre has never gotten much love from the Academy, though there still seems to be a bias against scary movies during awards season. The Exorcist earned 10 Oscar nominations in 1974, including Best Supporting Actress nod for Linda Blair, who was just 15 years old at the time. Now, do you like my shirt? You can get one in the description below.